Hello, welcome back to Behaviour Reviews. Another day and another stone broke coming to place. This is the Liberty Station, which is just going to pan around for you. This is actually quite a happy little surprise because we came for Trader Joe's and then there was a sign saying Stone Brewing Company down the way and we didn't actually realise this was here. Um, so this is another kind of uh, expansion for them in the city, uh, a sort of offshoot area. It's got its own brewing facilities and one of the beers we've got today is from their own brewing um, area which is just kind of further in the back. And they've got something like 80 taps on something ridiculous here. It's a lot of beer they've got available. Um, so the two beers we've got, um, the first one I'm really, well, but I'm excited about both. The first one I'm really excited about because hopefully we're going to go to this place later on in our travel when we go further north. This is um, Russian River and this is Blind Pig IPA, the kind of IPA that started it all uh, with Vinny Coiluta. Um, this is the first IPA that he made and one of the first to like, win awards for him. And the other one we've got is um, a Unicorn Milk Stout, uh, which is a chai spiced uh, milk stout, uh, clocking in at, this, this one was 7.2 uh, I think and this is 6.3 um, I believe. Um, so we'll start off with the IPA first. Uh, we have a wonderful little kind of fluorescent orangey coloured beer. It has a nice amount of head uh, lacing, even though there's not much retention because it's only keg. Uh, nice and well chilled. There's not much of the way carbonation in it, but it, it definitely looks good in the glass. So, okay, then give it a good old smell. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's lots of tropical fruit in that. That's a lot of mango. A lot of passion fruit. It's absolutely juicy as heck. I mean, thus far we've not had uh, an IPA here that's not been absolutely pungent or intense. But this one is, is something absolutely special and crazy. It really leaps out of the glass. Wow, I've never, ever, ever smelled a beer with so much tropical fruit out on the nose. Absolute um, kind of hophead stream, to be honest. So, um, cheers everyone, let's give it a try. It's just too good really quite crisp and dry um, and it just lets the, the tropical fruit notes just ping off the palate. There's so much passion fruit and so much papaya and mango in that. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's got quite a bit of a bitter ending at the back but I think that just kind of uh, fulfills it really. Um, it lets the hop sing. There's barely any more profile at all really. Um, nice meaty body on it. It's so tropically though. It's unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Seriously good, seriously good. Okay, so moving on, um, Liberty Station, Stone Brewing, Liberty Station, uh, Unicorn Milk Stout, a chai spiced milk stout. Um, unsurprisingly, it's pitch black in the glass. It's got um, kind of just off white tan coloured head up on the top, and again, it's lacing quite well for a cake beer. So, on the nose. Again, unsurprisingly, it smells like chai latte. It's got a lot of cinnamon, and a bit of clove and nutmeg, that sort of flavour going on. Um, without blowing a trumpet, um, it smells something more similar to the Dark Alchemy produced by Atom, it's got that kind of spicy swang on the nose. Not something I'm unfamiliar to I suppose, but it's really, really intense, very concentrated aroma. Um, so, cheers everyone, let's give it a try. Wow, it's velvety, rich and thick, it really coats the tongue nicely. Yeah, a little bit of the the lactic twang, that kind of sour but very sweet flavour from um, from the lactose and milk added to it. Um, we get a massive boost, a really heavy hit of all those spices, lots of cinnamon and clove, Cori uh, I'm assuming nutmeg and coriander. There's quite a lot of carbonation to it, more than I thought there would be, but it's really intense in flavour, full of it, full of flavour, um, really nice, and actually it's pretty drinkable for concerning what it is, they thought it'd be quite cloying and thick. It's actually, it drinks really smoothly. Um, so in terms of rating, uh, do I need to even give you one for the, for the Russian River? That's, that's absolutely sublime. That, that puts all the ideas to shame and fresh. It's just, it's just killing it. Absolutely killing it. Nine and a half easy. Reputation is absolutely well, well, well understood there. And I haven't even tried Pliny yet, which is supposed to be even better. Is that the right word for it? Um, and the Yukon looks down. Yeah, super intense. Loads of flavour. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, it's a chai and spice. Well, it's not unicorn milk, but it's a chai spice milk style. Um, I like that a lot, actually. I'm going to give that a good 9 out of 10. You could really drink it. It's not cloying, it's not overly sweet, it's not stupendous in 
um, in terms of ABV or, or too intense in flavour. Um, real easy, well sipping beers. So there you go from Stone Liberty Station here in Point Loma, I believe, uh, in San Diego. Until the next beer review, cheers everyone.